In today's video, we'll install present detection using the affordable LD2410 sensor. It's super sensitive, capable of detecting even the tiniest movements. Plus, it's natively supported in Home Assistant. We'll be using ESP32 and ESP Home. No soldering required. Let's get started. The Bluetooth integration was just unreliable for me, with frequent disconnections and stability issues during my testings, as also reported by many others online. In contrast, my ESP32 setup has been rock solid for weeks. The LD2410 model is a highly sensitive human presence detector that uses millimeter wave radar technology. It provides real-time detections of movement, distance, and presence in a room, with a detection range of up to 5 meters and an angle of approximately 60 degrees. Both versions have non-standard 1.27 mm pins, which require a special cable. The B version also has Bluetooth. The C version also has Bluetooth and a different form factor with standard 2.54 mm pins. You will need an ESP32 microcontroller. For the B version, you will need this special cable. For the C version, you will need four jumper wires. Navigate to the website from the description and click on the My Add-on button. Make sure to have the correct URL and click Open Link. Click Install. You can enable Watchdog and Show in Sidebar, then click Start. Finally, click Open Web UI. Click on New Device. You can install it directly from this screen, but I've been more successful with the web version. Connect your device to your computer using a data cable and click Connect. Pick your device and click Connect. Click on Prepare for first use, then Install. On some devices, you will need to hold the boot button before installing. Now that it finished installing, connect your Wi-Fi network. Go back to Home Assistant. You should see your device in the ESP Home screen. Click Adopt. Give it a meaningful name. I'll be using it in my bathroom, so I called it Bathroom Presence. Click Adopt and skip Install. We have some changes to make. Click on the three dots and rename Hostname. Finally, click Rename. It will take a few minutes to install. Now the installation is completed, let's wire up the sensor. The wiring are as follows. VCC to 5V, ground to ground. Rx to P16, Tx to P17. Go back to ESP Home and edit your device. Friendly name can be whatever you want. Paste the configuration from the blog post. If you use the same schematics as me, there is no need to change the values of the pins. The bathroom measures 2 meters by 2 meters and the sensor will be placed at a 45 degrees angle diagonally. The timeout controls the duration for the sensor to clear. The max move and still distance determine the max range for the sensor. 2.25 meter is enough for my use case, so I need to configure gates 0 to 3. 0 is the most sensitive and 100 is the least sensitive. This works for my use case, but it takes some trial and error getting the right values. Finally, click install. Let's install wirelessly to check the connection. The process takes a few minutes. Navigate to the Devices and Services menu. You should see your device there. Click Configure and assign it to a room if you like. If you don't see any values, just refresh the page. If done correctly, you should start seeing some data. This is how I placed my sensor. If you want higher wife approval, install it in the ceiling. The sensor can see through plastic. You can use these terminal wires for easier connection. I created a simple automation to turn on when presence is detected and turn off when it's not detected. It takes about 15 seconds to clear. I printed a 3D case. If you don't have a printer, you can buy a cheap project box in any size. One drawback I found during my testing is that the sensor doesn't work well in noisy environments. For example, fans, moving curtains, or even the robot vacuum can trigger a false presence detection. 
So if you're considering using it in a noisy room, I would take that into account. To solve this issue, I started testing for the next video in this series, where I will create a multi-sensor setup that combines the LD2410 and a PIR sensor. Be sure to subscribe to get notified when it's ready. There is also an app available for controlling the sensor settings via Bluetooth, if you prefer. For iOS users, the app is called HLK Radar Tool, and for Android users, I will provide a link to the APK in the blog post. The LD2410 is a great presence detection sensor that integrates really well with ESP Home. And for $5, it's really a steal. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for watching.